the stars were twinkling in the sky. The crescent moon was coming like a silver stream floating in the blue ocean. Wind speed was high. The sea was rough, Velila stretched out her arms and tried to pull the people standing on the bank. Why are you standing? Wash off the mud quickly. You must go home immediately. Otherwise I will not get rice today. My sister-in-law will overturn the rice pot. Said Punghuali. Is the sea deep here? Vandia Devan asked. I have never seen a coward like you. There is no depth here. Even if you go far into the sea, there is only waist-deep water. That is why the lighthouse must be lit every night. Vandiyathevan hesitated and got into the water. After washing off the mud and cleaning his limbs, he went ashore. At a little distance the doctor's son saw the horse coming up. Vandiyadeva's horse also came next. Ouch! The horse is about to go down in the mud. Vandiyathevan said. Don't get off, horses have more sense than men. Said Punghuali. But there's a man on a horse. And he's dragging my horse along. That's a bit of a risk. Run and warn. Stop. Stop. Shouting that, Vandiyathevan ran away and stopped him. Pungazali also came and joined them for some time. The three walked towards the lighthouse. Can you get on the horse? Said Punghuali. No, I'll walk with you. Pungujali went near the horse and stroked its face. So, as if pleased, the horse shivered and bleated slightly. My horse has got you. It's very good. Good in what way? I have to go to Sri Lanka. I think I can entrust this horse to you and leave. Will you take care of it? Oh. I'll see to it. All the animals will soon be friendly to me. Only humans don't like me. Why do you say that? Send an Amuthan on your behalf. I am fond of beasts, I hate to see men. What have humans done to you? Men are wicked. Lies and lies are their work. You shouldn't say that to everyone. Send an Amuthan is good. Here he comes, the doctor's son, he is very good. How about you? I'm good too. Shouldn't I be proud of myself? What are you two here for? Isn't the emperor sick? He needs some herbs to cure his illness. Are there any rare herbs in this forest? That's what the healer's son and I have come for. Did you say you wanted to go to Sri Lanka a little while ago? Herbs that are not available here should be brought from Sri Lanka. Does Sanjeevi Parvatam that Anumar brought to Sri Lanka still exist? Yes, there is and that's why there are thousands of people dying of poisoning right now. Is that so? I don't know. The palace doctor who sent us doesn't either. I have never seen men who lie like men. Two days ago two men came here. They also lied something like this. But what they told was a little believable lie. Who are they? What did they lie about? They said they had been sent by a magician. They wanted tiger claws and elephant tail fur to make a turban for the emperor, and they were going to Sri Lanka. My brother had taken them and sailed to Sri Lanka. Oh! Oh! Is that so? Vandiyathevan said. He remembered Ravi Dasan, a terrible magician. I was reminded of the terrible experience I had had in the Mandapam when I was lying in bed at night. God! Why are we stuck in all these things? Stand face to face with the enemy on the battlefield and fight. Then we have to show our courage and determination. Why are we caught up in this kind of tantrum mantram maneuvers? Who could have gone to Sri Lanka by boat before us? How far can you trust this woman? She might even belong to that conspiratorial group. No, no. She is an innocent girl. It's better to befriend her somehow. Punguzali. I will tell you the truth. I told you that I had come to bring the herb a little while ago, and that is a lie. I am going to Ceylon on a very important secret matter. I want to tell you that. No. Don't you know you shouldn't tell girls important secret things? Don't tell me anything. That's what they say about normal girls. 
nothing like that will happen if I tell you a secret. How did you know I wasn't an ordinary girl? You didn't even look at me like a prostitute. Pungujali. I fell in love with you the first time I saw you on the wall in that temple. Let me ask you something. Will you give me an honest answer? Listen. Is it true that Sendan Amuthan is not your boyfriend? Are you not going to marry him? Why do you ask? Shandan Amuthan is my friend, I should not do anything against him. But if he is not your lover? Tell me. Why do you hesitate? I will see if I can apply for that position. Punguzali. I don't like you talking so little about love. There is no other divine power in the world than love. Appar, Sundarar, Sambandar have all sung about God as a lover. Tolkapiyar, Valovar and the great Tamil poets have sung about love. Kalidasa has sung about love. In Vrindavan, Kanan falls for Gopi's love. Sir! I'll tell you something. Listen carefully and take it to heart. What is that? I also like you when I see you. You don't have the hatred I had when I saw the people who came two days ago. Oh! Oh! I'm clever. But don't just talk about love, Geethal. Why? Why? Shandan Amuthan is not my lover. But I have other lovers. Oh! Oh no! Other lovers? Who? How many? In the middle of the night I will leave the house and show them to you if you follow me. You can see for yourself. After saying this Punghuali laughed and said ha ha ha. That smile did something to Vandiyadeva's heart. Sin is like a maze to this woman. It is vain to expect any help from her for our cause. It is better not to say anything to her. They approached the house near the lighthouse. An old man inside the house and an elderly woman came out. The big man was stunned to see Pungujali, the other two, and the horses. Pungasli. Who are these people? Where did you catch them? He asked. I don't like these people, Dad. They're the ones who got me. Said Punghuali. It's all the same. You don't listen when I say, come home before it's time. They have come to take herbs for the emperor's medicine, Father. Why, sir? Is what this woman says true? The old man looked at Vandiyadeva and asked. Yes, big man. Here's the slip. Saying that, Vandiyadeva took a leaf from the roll of cloth tied in between and gave it to the elder. At the same time another leaf fell on the ground. He quickly bent down and secured it. I'm a big fool. I don't think I've ever lost my mind. He muttered under his breath. The elder bought the leaf. He looked at it carefully in the light of the lighthouse. His face lit up. To his wife he said, the young lady has sent straw. They must be fed. Go in and tell your daughter-in-law. She is going to overturn the pot of rice. Said.